Hi, I'm Bruce from Gloucester, Virginia. You're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Good morning, Weasel. There's a weasel with us this trip. Oh, I'm so excited. You ready to go outside, bud? I'm ready to go outside. We are here in Kenora. We're gonna be loading up a load of uh, lumber and uh, taking it on down to Brainerd, Minnesota. Same run we did beginning of last week. Except I'm by myself this week. It's just me. Father-in-law's doing other stuff. My dad just took off to Iowa, I believe. So we're all running different. We're running on our own this week. Come on, bud. Let's go over this way real quick. It's gonna be a good day. The sun is shining, not a cloud in the sky. Got a weasel with me. Got an empty step deck here. We're gonna put some some wood on it, some good wood. And we got a tarp it. That's, we can make that good. We're gonna tarp it, we're gonna tarp it, tarp it real good, like a Christmas present. It's gonna look good. Then we're gonna head on down to Minnesota. It'll be fun. You guys wanna see something cool? I've gotta tarp this load. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Pretty neat, right? That way I don't have to climb up there and I don't have to lift those heavy tarps. That just lays it over there. I'll straighten it out, square it off. I'll put one more on the front. I'll be out of here. It's probably the quickest I've ever been loaded and tarped at this location, which is awesome. Took them 15 minutes to load me. And this will take me half an hour. Maybe a bit more. We'll see, maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. There's no one else in here right now, so I'm not in a big rush, but uh, don't want to drag my feet, so let's get going. Let's, I want to get down to Minnesota tonight yet. I want to get down to Brainerd to my truck stop there. Well, the truck stop is actually in Pillager, Minnesota, I think. That's where I stay. I might go right to the customer, though. I think we can sleep there, though. I, I learned that last time. We'll decide that later. Let's get ourselves tarped first. This makes tarping so much easier. That's why I love coming here. Especially in the winter time. And when it's raining, to have a nice covered shelter. Mm. Let's get our friends. Oops. Our friends are still Let's bring our friends over this way. because you're working with cranes. Makes sense. You lift stuff up, it must come down. Just in case.
lift them all the way up for the next driver. Be careful when you're uh, lifting them up. You don't want them to hook on to your collar or anything and pull you up there with them. <laughs> Wouldn't be very fun. There are several locations that we go to that have the exact same setup, same building, same setup, same everything. I like them all equally. It's not the prettiest tarp job, I'm, I'm gonna be the first to admit that, but it does the trick, right? It looks like dad wrapped the Christmas presents this year. They're wrapped, and that's all that matters. You see what I did here? Can you see what I missed? That crease right there should be at the top of the load there, technically. This will work just fine too, everything's covered. But if you want it to look mwah, pretty, that's what you would do to fix that. Peekaboo, no peekaboos here. You cover up, you cover yourself up. You cover yourself up. Does the job, I'm only going 300 miles down the road with it. So, uh, not many people are gonna see it down the road. I mean, now that I put it on YouTube, a couple of thousand people have seen it, but. I have to show this to you so that you know that Trucker Josh isn't perfect when we get the job done. And this is the other side. This side's a little cleaner. Moving up there. It's hard to see because of the sun. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Protecting the load. Okay. It's time to get going with a burner. Burner! Bernard, for Bernard, Basil. You like my tarp job? Whoa, whoa. Calm down there. Calm down. See, he's going crazy. Diesel. What? You don't have anything to say? I mean, I could have tarped that better, man. I could have done a better job. This is embarrassing. You take me along and that's how, that's how you present us to the world. We are way better truckers than that. Very disappointed. I said disappointed weasel. If I had thumbs, I'd show you how it was done. This is, this is terrible. You're a hard weasel to impress, Diesel. Hard weasel to impress. Okay, I'm just gonna get all my uh, stuff in order here. Make sure my paperwork went through properly. And uh, start making our way to the border. There's two of our trucks here that are uh, also going to Brainerd. I'm not sure if we'll be running together or not, but uh, we're going down to the same place, all three of us. All right, everybody, it's time to get going. Undo the belt, undo the button. Oh, I've got to lose weight. I've really got to lose weight. By my birthday, okay? By my birthday, April 1st, 2023, I want to lose weight. I'm probably about 225 to 230 pounds right now. I'd like to be 180, 50 pounds. Let's see what I can do. Let's see if we can get under 200 by my birthday. That would be good. We're gonna go for walks. We've said this a few times this year already, but this time we really mean it, right, Diesel? That's why I brought you along, because I do more walking when I'm with you. Because I take you for walks more often, but when you're not here, I don't take myself for walks. And then look at me, look what happens. That's what happens when you don't come with me, man. I get fat, okay? That's why you gotta come with me. Keep me skinny, man. Let's get going.
saver trucking. Beautiful, beautiful day. a bit of a sketchy corner because you can't see oncoming traffic until it's right there and they're moving at like 90 kilometers an hour some of them are moving at like 120 hope for the best put your four ways on and when they come whipping around the corner i hope they're paying attention right Senex. That means we're in America. That's an American company. We're just outside of uh, International Falls, Minnesota. And like I was saying before, having diesel with me uh, gets me out of the truck more. Usually I wouldn't have stopped. I would have just kept on going right past. Or maybe I would have just stopped for a quick coffee back in the truck head off but since we got the, the weasel with us gives me uh, an excuse to you know, take a little bit of an extended break just a little bit just a few minutes let him get out and run around here the last time I was here I made a mistake and called this town Deer Falls it's actually Deer River. It's right there on that bright colored church sign. That is a bright church. Can't miss that one. Deer River. I don't know why I was thinking Deer Falls. Is there a Deer Falls out there? I feel like I've been to a Deer Falls before. There's probably a Deer Falls in Minnesota. Huh. Maybe there's not. I don't know. This is the Senex that we stopped at last time. father-in-law was with me. We stopped in there. Really nice stop in there. Got a pizza hut and everything. I think I'm going to go to that same truck stop. Apparently we're allowed to sleep right at the customer though, so that is an option as well. I'll decide when I get a little closer. Sleeping at a truck stop is always nice because you can wash your face in the morning, clean yourself up and have a coffee. Here it is. 
<coughs> How dare you? You know what? I'll take it as a compliment. Deer River likes us so much, Diesel. They don't want us to leave. They want us to stay longer, so they gave us a red light. The one red light. And we got it. It's a good sign. Feels good to be liked and wanted. see it or not but there's a hungry weasel right here chowing down a little bit of a late supper my bad but he's getting his food and he's loving it good boy diesel sometimes he doesn't want to eat when he's on the road but the last couple of trips he's come on come with me he's eating really well on the road so i don't know i guess it depends how he's feeling he's a moody weasel we're uh here uh, in Pillager, Minnesota, at our truck stop. We'll be delivering down the road in Brainerd first thing tomorrow morning. And by the time I'm unloaded, I'm sure already, I'll already have a reload lined up. So we'll uh, have to wait and see what that's gonna be tomorrow. It was a holiday today, it was Labor Day in Canada. I believe the US is also Labor Day. So it's uh, continent-wide, or it's a uh, Canada and US holiday on the same day. Got something in my eye. Oh, isn't that annoying? You better get out of there. You better get out of there. Oh, I hate when I get things in my eye. Especially when I'm tired. And I am tired. But thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, same run as last week. Just by ourselves this week. Or I got the weasel with me, so there's that. There's always something different. You know, you can do the same run over and over. Each run is different in its own way. Uh, but I do like to switch it up. But these loads get us down to Minnesota. Who knows what my reload will be? That's the different part. Uh, that, that keeps me on my toes. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care. Don't forget to eat your Cheerios. And your Fruit Loops. All of them.